Hi, welcome back to You Unlock. If you're a new viewer, namaste. Inner peace. I want to talk about inner peace because I feel like inner peace is something that a lot of people desire. That's something that I am working towards, especially through my recent experiences of pain and trauma. You know, I'm healing and, you know, a lot of things that I've experienced, you know, my mistakes and a lot of things that can cause, you know, you to be unbalanced emotionally and mentally, you know, and soulfully. So I want to talk about it because I feel like that's something that, you know, really deserves to be heard or deserves to be worked on. You get what I'm saying? Because it's something that creates a beautiful world for you, a beautiful reality for you. So if you've been watching my new unlock journey or you've been watching my life journey, I'm pretty sure you can understand what I have been through, you know, and why I'm actually going through such a journey and such a phase of self-transformation, you know. So, inner peace. Let's dive into that. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment at the end of the video. By the way, please share this video, okay? Let's continue raising awareness and sharing love, spreading positive vibes, okay? Okay, so let me get straight to it. The first point that I want to make is accepting what is. And what I mean is that accepting the external world as it is and accepting your inner world as it is. Because most of the times, the reason why we don't have inner peace is because we are in conflict with the external world and in conflict with our inner world. You know, most of the times we don't accept the world as it is, you know, accept that, yeah, there's bad people in this world. Accept that, you know, not everything can happen the way you want it to, you know, you just have to accept that that's just how things are. You know what I mean? Like some things that you're not in control of. You know what I'm saying? So you just have to accept them as they are. In terms of your inner world, I can say, you know, you just have to accept that sometimes, yeah, you won't always be happy. You know, sometimes you can feel sad. You know, accept that you're sad. Don't try to force yourself into a state of happiness. You know what I'm saying? Em embrace that situation that you're in. You know what I'm saying? Embrace your pain, you know? And then I don't mean that you should just you know, stay stuck in that pain. But what I mean is that, you know, feel it, you know, accept that it is, that's how you are at that moment in time, you know, accept that you're going through things, you know what I'm saying? Accept that you are healing, accept that there's so many things going on in your world and you're not where you want to be yet, but that doesn't mean you can't get there. Accept where you are at this moment. Don't judge yourself too much, which is another point that I also want to make, which is practicing non-judgment, which is also a part of, you know, accepting, you know, what it is because, you know, when you practice non-judgment, then it makes it easier for you to accept what is. You get what I'm trying to say? So, yeah, practice non-judgment. The first point is accept what is. Second point is practice non-judgment. And then comes the third point, which is, you know, ending the self-war that you have with yourself. You know, sometimes we can be at war with ourselves, you know, have some serious conflict with ourselves, you know, probably saying mean things to ourselves, you know, probably hate ourselves, you know, probably look down on ourselves and stuff like that, you know, and that can cause lack of inner peace because if you're not at ease or at peace with yourself, then there's no way you can have inner peace. It's impossible. So end that self-war with yourself. Start saying things that are positive about yourself. Start saying, I forgive myself. Start saying, I love myself. Start saying, I am healing. Start saying things that are positive about yourself. That is the third point that can take you to inner peace. The fourth point is self-sabotage, which is also kind of part of self-war. Because self-sabotage can happen unconsciously. You know, you can be aware of self-war, but then you can be unconscious about self-sabotage. You know, you can be sabotaging yourself without realizing it. You get what I'm trying to say? So sometimes it's really a matter of really being metacognitive about yourself. You know, to become more aware of patterns that are destroying you without you realizing it. So if you can really become aware of self-sabotage, you know what I'm trying to say? Then you can take a closer step to inner peace. Because self-sabotage can cause real real war with yourself so take a look at that be aware of that you know because personally i've experienced that before and i've seen it as something that can come as a hidden 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 attack on yourself 
because you're not really aware of it you know what i'm trying to say so self-sabotage is something that you really have to be what can i say aware of fifth point five the fifth point is practice mindfulness an example of practicing mindfulness is meditation Yoga, you know what I'm trying to say, you know, practicing, you know, mindfulness, breathe, you know, allow yourself to let go of stress, allow yourself to let go of anything that makes you feel negative, you know what I'm trying to say. Now on point number six, so the point number six is a little hard to do, but it's something that everybody can do, but then the only reason why it's hard to do is because it takes a while to build a habit. You know what I'm saying? So the sixth point is build positive habits. So an example of, of a positive habit is eating healthy. You know, if you eat healthy, then, you know, you won't feel guilty about your health. You get what I'm trying to say? If you exercise, you won't feel guilty about your health. You know, it's a positive habit. It's, it's part of a positive lifestyle. You get what I'm trying to say? Take care of your financials. You know what I'm saying? So that you don't feel guilty, you know, later on, like, why did I spend that money, you know, so impulsively, you get what I'm trying to say, practice positive habits, you know, positive habit is probably saving money or investing money, which can create, you know, in the peace, because sometimes it's really much about habits, you know what I'm saying, so habits is the sixth point, build positive habits, build positive habits. Number seven, number seven, point number seven is don't pressure yourself too much. Don't pressure yourself too much. Allow yourself to grow slowly, one step at a time. You know, take it easy on yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself, you know? When you're too hard on yourself, well, it becomes, you know, self-hatred. You get what I'm trying to say? Because if you're too hard on yourself and then you don't do what you're being hard on yourself about, then conflict begins. That conflict turns into self-war and, you know, you're strangling yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't pressure yourself too much. Just take it easy. One step at a time. You know what I'm saying? One step at a time. You will get there. You will get there. Okay? Okay. The last point and the last point is point number eight. Point number eight is self-pity. You know, I just said that don't be too hard on yourself. But then also self-pity is not the way to go too. Because, you know, sometimes self-pity can lead... To not allowing yourself to get yourself into, you know, some really positive habits. You know what I'm saying? Discipline. You get what I'm trying to say? So, don't self-pity too much. Otherwise, you stay stuck in an, an area of just feeling as if you don't have the power to do things by yourself. You know, the power to change things. You know what I'm saying? So, allow yourself to, yeah, forgive yourself, heal, and allow yourself to, you know, care for yourself. But then don't self-pity because... That just leads to, I don't know, powerlessness. You know what I'm trying to say? So yeah, that's it. In this video, I was pretty much just getting straight to the point. I didn't want to talk so much. I just wanted to just get straight to the point. You know, the points that I wanted to make. And that's that. You get what I'm trying to say? So keep growing. Emotionally, mentally, and, you know, physically, you know, spiritually. Keep growing. You know what I'm saying? Keep expanding to new awareness keep expanding to new dimensions keep raising your consciousness you know because this reality there's so much about it that's unknown and you can start to realize it the more you start to dig deeper into the rabbit hole as they say in the matrix but yeah keep raising your consciousness and you will get there you get what i'm trying to say so spread love you know you unlock till we meet again to the next video Namaste.